My name is Bruno Sade from brunosade.com. Today I want to talk about the question, should you ever tap on a positive or happy memory? Because, you know, in EFT, we usually target negative or adverse memories. This would be memories that make us feel bad to some degree and that are somehow connected to the issue we are wanting to work on and that these memories or future made up events are somehow contributing to keeping the issue in place. So what we do with EFT is we notice how that memory makes us feel now and we apply EFT so as to diminish and release the unpleasant emotional charge that this memory brings up for us now. Now, in what cases would we want to tap on a positive memory? Basically, there are a few cases, but what I want to talk about today is the following. Basically, we want to tap on a positive memory if when we think about it now, it makes us feel bad in some way. Now, you might be wondering, why would a happy memory or a positive memory make us feel bad nowadays? And one of the reasons why that could happen is because of the grief process. Because at the end of the day, we can only tap on how something makes us feel now, not on how it made us feel back then. We cannot change how it made us feel in the past, but we can change how it makes us feel now. Now, let's say, let me give you an example. Let's say that you have what was once a happy memory of going on a trip with your friends and with your romantic partner at the time. But the thing is, since that trip happened, maybe a few years later, the romantic relationship you were in didn't work out. You and the other person broke up and therefore what was once a happy memory of that trip with your friends and with your, let's say, boyfriend is kind of tainted by the grief of the relationship not working out and by the knowledge that the relationship didn't work out in the end. So when you think about what used to be a happy memory, now it brings up some maybe sadness or anger or, or some sort of unpleasant emotion. So in this case, in what ways would you tap on this memory if you wanted to do that? You simply notice how this memory makes you feel now. And then you can ask yourself the question, what part or aspect of this memory holds the most unpleasant emotional charge now? And once you locate that part or aspect within that memory, you can ask yourself, what's the emotion or feeling that I feel about this aspect of the memory? And where in my body am I feeling it? So let's come up with an example of how that might sound like when starting a tapping round on the side of the hand. You might say something like, even though when I remember the trip that me and my friends and Brian, my boyfriend at the time, made to Paris 10 years ago, and I remember how sunny it was and how happy we were. When I think about it now, it makes me feel very sad, knowing that the relationship with Brian didn't work out. And I notice this sadness in my chest. I accept this is what I'm feeling right now. And then you would tap saying something like this sadness in my chest. I remember the sun was shining so much. We were all so happy. It makes me feel sad. When I think about this memory now, it makes me feel sad. I notice this sadness in my chest. I notice this sadness in my chest. And then after that run, you would reassess when thinking about this memory again, what part of it seems to have the most emotional charge now. It might be the same as before, or might be a different aspect. And what's the emotion about this new aspect? And what's the body location, if any? And basically, you see how what was once a happy memory, because of what happened afterwards, the relationship not working out, now it feels sad, but if you like to be able to think about this memory and not have it be tainted by the knowledge that the romantic relationship with Brian didn't work out, you can tap on it. And or you could also tap on any negative memories connected to why this happy memory no longer feels so happy. So it may be, in this example, remembering some of the arguments that you had with Brian, remembering the time when you decided to break up with him or when he broke up with you. So basically coming up with negative memories that are connected to why what used to be a happy memory no longer feels that way. So when it comes to using EFT to work on grief, the grief process is something that we have to go through when we lose something or someone that was important in our lives. Usually the grief process means that we're going to at least initially 
feel some emotional pain when thinking about both the negative and the positive memories connected to that person or situation or thing that we have lost. Because even the happy memories are because of the contrast of this person or situation or thing is no longer in my life. It's probably going to bring up some sadness, some grief, etc. And therefore, with EFT, we always target how the memory or the event makes us feel now. Therefore, that's what we can tap on with EFT. And it can also be helpful to tap on any negative memories connected to the person or situation that we have lost. Now, if any of the memories that come up feels like it might be too emotionally intense or too traumatic or too hot to touch, to tap on by yourself, please, in that case, I recommend that you enlist the help of a certified trauma-informed practitioner, such as myself or someone else. Otherwise, feel free to tap on it by yourself if you want to. And so that's it for today. I hope this was useful. And I look forward to seeing you again in one of my next videos.